everybody. Love you guys. Thanks for coming on over to my channel. I am Liz and I'm so happy that you're here today. I'm going to be working on uh, a Christmas master board um, because I just feel like glowing and I've got these fun, these really fun um, Duluth Trading Company. I don't know if you've ever bought anything from Duluth Trading Company, but their their flyers are pretty funny. I mean, look at the Santa Claus with the, he's on a motorcycle. That's funny to me. So I'm, and here is another Santa who just can't handle it. And he's just, just, yeah, too many gifts. But they've got great words in here. Look at that, just that word there. Um, and little pictures I can cut out. Uh, so I'm going to, you know, what do they call that when you, I'm going to cannibalize these for words and pictures. So those are fun. And I have a couple hymnals um, that, you know, this is just a basic whatever. And so I can use some of these words. Um, I should, you know, copy these, but um, I've got, honestly, they're, I've got a ton of, I've got plenty of this, so I'm not worried about not copying it. But yeah, here's Advent um, Birth Ones. This old hymnal, a friend of mine from my church, she gave me this one just the other day. And it's an old St. Matthew's Cathedral, Protestant Episcopal Church. And it looks like somebody's already torn something out of here. I don't know what, but that'd be interesting. But uh, I turned to the Advent stuff, but this is Christmas. The first songs they have in here are Christmas. And also in this general hymns, they have some of uh, our normally sung Christmas songs, but there's no title. But you know this is Joy to the World, right? So it's just curious how they have it in two different places. Um, but it's pretty cool. I mean, it's the 1940s, but it, it's in really good condition. Index of the tunes. I just, I thought it was pretty cool and I was looking through this. Index of composers, a metrical index. Anyway, I got a little carried away just looking at the book itself. I thought, wow, this is really cool put together and all that. So I got that. I'm just assembling some of the supplies. So just a plain piece of paper I'm gonna use. And I brought out some other music scraps um, and some, I did some stamps. I don't have very many Christmas stamps, but the stamps that I do have, I went and just, I easily took my, took what stamps I have and just, just did that. No big deal. And I'm just gonna see what I come up with and my scraps. Last year I made some Christmas trees and then I cut them out and so I have scraps like that. I have this bag of scraps, this um, long strip scraps pack container and then another bag of green scraps. So I just pulled out my green stuff and then I'll add red with the stamping and then whatever else I come up with in these things. So I'm just gonna start getting going on glue. Um, and for glue, I'm just gonna be using my Elmer's Extra Strength glue stick. Those aren't them. Hold on here. Elmer's school glue there. And I might, let me think, I might just want to just, I might do my use ups. Let me try, I'm gonna try that first. I'm gonna use up and I'm gonna use these with my palette knife. So that'll make it so I'm actually using these glue sticks, right? Because I need to. Glue sticks. So I'll put my glue sticks in there, my palette knife, and my scraps. My scissors have goo on them. That is ongoing issue, always having to clean off my scissors because they have goo on them. I'm gonna get a little bin for my scraps. I'll be right back. Cause then I'll, I won't, I'll have them all in like a uh, place in front of me and beside me. And I have a Christmas candle going. What is this? This is called spruce. We, oh my goodness, taking me back to, these are the long ones. I'll put those in there. 
Bruce the Spruce. If any of my Wisconsin friends from the Schofield, Weston, Wausau, Rothschild area <laughs> are watching, uh, back when we were kids in the mall, there was a Bruce the Spruce and it was a tree that talked and it had a microphone. And um, now, uh, now I know how it was done, but as a little kid, it was amazing because you would walk by in this tree that had eyes and a, a smile would talk to you and say hello as you walked by. And it was, it was a little scary, but at the same time, it was really cool. I went to go see Bruce the Spruce. That was the thing to do. You go shopping at, I think it was um, a Montgomery Wards that was near it. And you go shopping at Montgomery Wards, and then you go stop by Bruce the Spruce because it was right outside the front of the, of the um, store, oh, the store building. Before I glue, I want to cut out some of these words. But Bruce the Spruce, anybody, that is just, that's fun. Okay. I love this motorcycle, but I like this little tiny picture better. So I'm going to cut it out. And, but Bruce the Spruce, friends. Bruce the Spruce. And I am i don't even know if the mall is still in existence there. I haven't lived in Wisconsin in that area in a lot, a long time, so it's not even, it's not even a thing for me anymore, but it was good memories, really good memories. So do I do a nutcracker in underwear? I don't think I do. Decorate, that's a word that would be wonderful for this. I'm just going to cut out a few words, I think. I want to find the word gifts, a, a smaller one. That's too, that's kind of big, so I'm going to let that, leave that go. Ornaments. I'm sorry, I'm going back there. More ornaments. So these are kind of how I do things. I find Find words, go through, Santa's giving himself a shave with an ax. I don't think I want that on there. Clean up his act. That's fun, Santa. But these these are fleece on earth and good wool to men. I mean, funny. That's just, the people who make these must have a really good time doing, doing these stockings ever, uh, making these, these, um, Catalog. Uh, catalogs? I don't know. It's not, not really a catalog. But here's the fun picture. Santa coming out the coming down the chimney. Yeah, I'm gonna use all that and that. And I know there was the word gift in here that wasn't huge. Good old the puppies. Really am considering getting a dog. My husband is not on board yet, but we will see if that could change. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna call that good. Cut those a little better as I'm going through. Oh, it does not look wonderful. That beautiful horse. Anyway, getting a little enamored with those. I love cutting out magazines. I don't have very many either, but I think I'll use this as decor because they've got lots of little die cuts to do. I got little stars and small pictures and small snowflakes that I can use to accent other things. And I'm gonna try to keep right angles on this, I think. So there's some words. So I'm kind of gonna yeah, pictures, I'm trying to keep things in a little bit organized fashion. Okay, so here's this tree there. 
And how about a tree that sideways? What do you think about that? Okay. And I'm off frame. Let me do a little adjusting for you there. There. How's that? Pretty good. Okay. Gonna get going. Gonna start working. Keep my scissors handy. And I'm going to get my mat here to glue on. Oh, I'm the correct side. Yeah, I really like how to how to palette knife and glue. I also need to keep my I keep my wet whites handy too because this is gonna need to be cleaned up every now and then. And I could use it's a little crooked. That's okay. Could use. watered down Elmer's, but that would give it, make my page wrinkly in whatever I'm gluing. Stick glue it gives it a little less, it's kind of easier to work with. I think I might go back to my phone book just because I can just flip a page. I'm gonna try the phone book, go back to the phone book. Because these are small pieces. Practicing some lettering. And then, let's see, got some music. So I like these tones. I like the, the, the sepia tones. I think that they have a, a nice smack in the middle. Where am I? They are, um, a good background. And this was a scrapbook paper that I had found from Tuesday morning. Actually, I'm going to connect. No, I'm not. My vacuum's going too, if you hear it. That is what's happening in the background there. If you hear some clunking and banging. Yeah, and I'm gonna just use up these old scraps first. Well, I was talking about doing straight lines, wasn't I? I have my cutter standing by, but I'm not using it. Oh, I could tear too. You can tear straight lines with the ruler. I hope everybody is getting um, all of their Christmas whatever stuff. <laughs> if you're shoppers, if you're getting all your shopping done, if you're crafters, getting all your crafting done, if you're bakers, getting all of your baking done. It's so much fun this time of year. I don't bake much, but there's a few things that I really like making during this time of year. And uh, one of them is toffee slash roca. And I made some of that. And I have to say, I had to adjust the recipe because I'm at altitude now. And it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to do, wanted it to be. And so uh, it, it still, it turned out really good still. Not, not disappointed too badly. Um, it just, something was different about how everything, how it cooks at altitude. This has a wave on it. I'm just going to straighten that wave off. And, uh, but it turned out good. And we had a Christmas get together. A small one, nothing major. And my, uh, I made the ornaments and I had that for take home gifts, that was fun. That was a hit. 
and anyway my roca i call it it's a roca recipe that's the recipe but um it's also called toffee you know it's the same same ingredients same method just different in over the pond they call it toffee we i call it oops that came off i call it roca so i don't know it's same ingredients like i said there's some fun stuff maybe i can do something like that and with these with this kind of oh, I could have, with this kind of a project this little this small project you can do so many things with that so i might cut them up to create christmas cards you can adjust them to as to use as a background for anything else it could be if you like how it turns out you know if you're making one of your own if you like how it turns out it can be a cover for a christmas book you know and something like that you almost want to plan ahead think about how that's going to look ahead of time um rather than just taking your scraps and gluing willy-nilly. What else? Make tags. Paper clips. I just had the had the mood mood to glue today. It's a, I, I'm in a gluing mood lately, and I want to use up my my need to use up glues. That's pretty paper. I think that's the last of that stuff, though. I have a triangle that might be a little tricky to maneuver here. Pull out these. I'm just gonna dump them in my container. And these are little, and I've got some wavy ones. And I got funny shaped ones. But this gingham is fun, right? Is that gingham? Is that what they call it? <laughs> okay, let's find a spot for these. Now, honestly, I've got two of them i don't know if oh, they look okay like that yeah a friend of mine the same person who gave me the hymnal gave me this cute little stamp i think i need to do something different here is that square not quite but i think i'm okay with it Trim it up just a little. That'll go good. And then some green there. Go there like that. And trim that up a little bit. So boom, boom. Maybe do something like that. So it's going different directions. Okay, I like that so far. It gives those uh, stamped items of home. I like it. Yeah, the gal that gave me the hymnal and this stamp, she also uh, found some other stamps um, that she had, she wasn't using. And uh, she, she saw my craft room and she's like, okay, you need to have these stamps. And so she gave them to me. She is a um, junk journal enthusiast, but she doesn't do any, do any of that right now. It's just too, doesn't have time, but uh Thank you, Laura, for thinking of me. She also gave me a little box of paper sticker butterflies. I think they're stickers, but they're all teal themed. Oh, they're beautiful. They're really pretty. 
So I'm, I think I might have to do for the love of teal. Of Oh, those commercials on Pandora are annoying. They're just as annoying as Spotify. Anyway, I'm going to trim this up a little. It would be fun, too, if I had different shapes on here, have things in the circles or... Uh, that would be that would be good, but I don't think I want to go into too much cutting, and I just want to glue it down. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's okay if it's going that way. Trim this one up. So are you buying cards? Are you giving cards, first of all? I have a feeling cards are gonna be a big, big win this, this year just because of everything else that's going on. I think that the, since you can't go and see people as much, it's gonna be more of a, give them a card, send some cards. Christmas. I need to get on that. Oh, and there's my vacuum cleaner. My Roomba. I had them in here for a little while because I have scraps all over the floor from making, making my pine cones and I made a few other things. Oh, I, I painted a couple cards. You guys wanna see those? Creation CC. She has a video. Look at these pretty cards I made. Creation CC has a video on how to make these. It's like the easiest Christmas card I've ever painted, I think is the title of it. So yeah, those turned out really nice. Here's the thing though, what do you put on the inside? I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I find, found some envelopes in my stash and then sized it to that. But that was fun to do. They turned out really nice. I'm pleased. I am pleased. Okay. Let's trim a Rooney here. Make that square. But right there. So much glue in those, in the ends of those sticks. Such a waste. Here's another one. I'm gonna trim this one up too. It's just fun having those other colors on there. Oh yeah, back to the question. Are you making your cards or What's your card status? Curious what people are doing this year. Because this year's not a normal year. No, it isn't. Well, kind of got that there, there, there. Do I put one up here? I'm going to wait on that. Oh, here's a cool color. Could do that. Add it here. Okay. Clean up that edge. What is everybody's favorite Christmas song? I honestly do not know. <laughs> I have uh, several that I like. And I don't mind listening to the same stuff over and over. Oh, I wanted to share Family Radio. 
Oh, Family Radio, their app right now, they have a Christmas only station. If you want to listen to commercial free uh, Christmas music, that's all um, faith based. There's your source. It is very, very wholesome, and the songs are beautiful. They really are beautiful. They've got modern and and choral classic, but um, they're all faith based. So no commercials, unlike how YouTube has monet started taking away all of these other. Um, they're putting commercials in all these non-monetized uh, channels now, and it's just annoying. And so, it's like, okay, I'm having a hard time finding commercial-free uh, music on YouTube now, and it just, they hijacked it. They just completely hijacked Christmas music, and I don't like it. So, I don't know what they're doing well, that's really, I don't know what they're doing with my videos. I don't have, I can't tell. I tried to find the button where it says not to put commercials on, but I'm not monetized. So I don't know. I don't know what their status on my stuff would be. So if you're getting commercials on my channel, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do about that. Because I've looked it up and I can't really find a solution that works for me or that applies to me. And then I don't know. So that might be a question for Craft Portal Rachel, because she is, she's my South Africa connection who is tech savvy. So she might have an answer on that. But it's just really annoying, I mean, especially if you're listening to, say, you know, some classical music or worship music and in the middle of the song and you're just getting into it and just bam all of a sudden there's a stupid commercial about where to buy your groceries it's just annoying so the commercial situation is very real okay so now i've got something here that's that's fun cut it's i used a fun cut on that How about some green gingham? I'm gonna go with my strips in here and try to use some green gingham and fill in. Now, let's see, I got us. I love my little cut. This little cut is awesome. Okay. Let's set one there. Honestly, this doesn't take very long, right? What am I looking at here? It's half an hour so far, from what I can tell on my screen. And after I edit, it'll be less. Look at that. What else can I do? Put one up here. I'm just eyeballing here. How close am I? Eh, let's make it a little wider. work. So here and there we go. color down there with the bottom of my palette knife. Interesting. Look at that. Okay, 
So now I've got some pictures I can add here and there. Kind of need to finish filling in now, right? Got this here. And put a corner there. With a new piece of music. Um, I'm cutting right angles, right, Liz? Right angles. And as you can tell, I haven't put any of my Christmas songs on here. That's song to song. That doesn't matter. Shadow B. Some words, that's fun. Do I? Do I want to put a corner? I don't want to put a corner. I don't want to put a corner. But I need a little skinny. I need a skinny something there. That would work. Let's do that. I should put something there first. Doesn't matter. Don't overthink. I think that's part of the fun of this too. Don't overthink it because you do that and all of a sudden you're slowing everything down and your progress and it's only paper. I don't remember who says that, but it's only paper. Maybe it's Pam at the paper outpost. It's only paper. Okay. I'm liking it so far. That's fun like that. Only I can't really see how the, it's okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stocking zippers. Trim. Trim. And. Making a mess next to myself here. But I wanna disperse the colors too. I need to make sure that the colors aren't so close next to one another. Good. One thing I do miss um, that I haven't, my brother actually, he has a YouTube channel and he just put some choral music on from his daughter's uh, high school performances. And she was part of the choir, and it's it's old. It's ninety seven or something like that, and the quality isn't the best. But I'm so glad that he he was able to film it, and it just turned out so cute. And and I just I miss doing that myself. Those were really good times. I had a lot of good friends because of music, and. And I know that his daughter does, does too. And she still sings in, in her church and stuff. So that's fun. Um, and I went on to college to sing. But it just, I have to, I really enjoy listening to choral music. And in fact, one of my Pandora stations is just Christmas choral music. This is just too bold now. It's too big, too big and bold. You will be on something else. else. Well, I've got this. And I still have this spot here. Maybe I can fill it in with, whoop, I better be careful here because I still have wet glue on this. Okay. Um, or I like this, I like it. 
I got words. I might need no, I need another picture. If I'm gonna put pictures on here, I need more pictures. Let me see if I can find a Christmas puppy. It's cute. Games are good. There's a cute Santa. But again, it's kind of big. Let's What's a good, do they have a small, look at that, it's, it's hilarious, I love it. There's a cute dog. There's another great Santa picture, definitely going to be. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Look at the deer. To, it'll be it's circular. It won't be. I'll have to trim it up, but I like that. This little the Santa face is awesome too. Let's get over there to that. And I honestly, I have so many other things that I could be pulling from right now, but I, these are just right in front of me. Yep. Handsome Santa. Has anyone ever, do, do you remember ever going and sitting on Santa's lap? I had never done that when my my I was a little kid growing up. I don't think we ever did that. I don't have any pictures in our stuff of us sitting on Santa's lap. I don't think my mom ever took us to do that. And you know, I don't miss it at all. But you know, we knew that Santa wasn't necessarily stock and stuff and kit. I don't know, might be able to use that. I'll just leave it stuffed in here. Um that wasn't what we did. I mean, we weren't Santa. We had a present. Oh, not cracker. We had a Santa present. I mean, and it was usually something pretty frivolous, like the puzzle, the Christmas puzzle we get would be from Santa, something like that. But it wasn't a thing that we went to go do. It wasn't we. We didn't hang our hat on. Do we even have stockings growing up? Uh, oh my gosh, I can't even think. I don't even know. We didn't have a fireplace, so maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't remember. These are perfect, though. I think these would go great. I love the black and white with the sepia in the background. These will fill in nicely. But this is red, so I uh, put that away. Oh, that almost fits perfectly. that okay okay happening that's happening what else in here were not there some other pictures that I saw that I wanted to cut out this thing of presents right here it has a little bit of red in it too so that could that could fill in a blank space Yeah, that works. I like it. I'm making, cutting off camera here. Sorry for messing you up that way. Tricky on the bottom here. That works right there. Oh, oh happy day, happy day, happy day. Okay, let me just tack down. I could put ornaments here. That would cover up that dead space. That could cover up that dead space. Um, this I need to put paper though, because I don't want a word next to a word. Maybe a piece of music. Does it 
need to be a lot. Okay. There. Do that. And I'm leaving my glue open. And I might have to go back and re-glue some of the corners. Whoa. But that's that's all in a day's work. All in a day's work. there was my it's coming along that works there works there okay it looks like I've got pretty much everything covered as far as the white is concerned and then I can come back in there and just add a few of these um, few of these pictures and call it call it good yes oh yes yes, yes. I guess I'm not using I guess I'm not using the truck I use that for something else definitely but I will use the presents I can pick them up Kind of goes good there. Um, gifts, ornaments, seasons, greetings, any place else, a word. Gifts, ornaments, those are crooked. I'm seeing this now. I'm not worried, not worried at all. So words kind of going this way. What if I put stocking stuffers down there? Let's do that. Santa face. Put the Santa face. Where's the deer? Deer can be floating. Kind of like it there. Ugh, stop sticking to me fingers. Don't make it. That's going to be right on. If I make this a folded thing, it's going to be right on the fold. I don't want that. Um, how about that? Looking through my it's blank down here. What do you think of that? See, I put something on it. What do I think of that? What do you think? What do you think? Um, looking through through my camera or looking at my my feed over here, and sometimes it's just to I'm gonna stand up <laughs> just to get a different perspective here. What does it look like here? I'm needing a little bit of green, dark green on the corners, so I'll add those, but I think I like the, the little pictures here and there. Okay, let's test. 
pack them down, Santa. There he is. Get down blitzing or whichever you do this one is. So thank you to Duluth Trading Company for your very interesting and jovial Christmas. I thought about ordering some stuff from Duluth um, just because where I live now, they need we need to have some serious winter clothing. Because when we have sunny days and lo low wind, which happens every now and then, it's nice to go cross-country skiing or... Just a hike up into the mountains. Or we've got lots of hiking areas in the area I live. I get them all. Okay. And so that, those, but they don't have free shipping or free returns in case it doesn't work. And yeah, we don't have, we don't have one locally. But we do have Murdoch's. And so maybe I'll just go there. On well, the word decorate, I didn't have the decorate word. Was I gonna put that somewhere on here? Good corner right there. Let's do that. Yeah, I'd have to definitely travel to get any Duluth Trading Company clothing. This I could add. That's fun. Let's do that. Okay. Get in there. I think it's turning out cute. Just add a, that strip right there. Okay, people, friends, and the like. I'm sure you see something I don't see. It's sometimes difficult to find all of the spots that would make a have a need some color. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's just a smidge on the short side. Could do this right here. It gives it a little bit of everything. Since I have that in a couple other places, let's do it there too. That adds a little bit of color right there and some dimension going up and down. All right. Okay, guys, what you thinking? What do you think? So I put the word decorate right here. I think I will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Covering up that little bit, but that's okay. Put a 
mess. What a mess. And it's just like, oh, my fingers. Okay, I like it. I do, I do. I think it's fun. And I didn't even use, didn't even use some stuff. That's okay. Let's see, think about it though. You could totally just fold it in half and it could be, could be a cover for something. Um, you could make a tag, tag out of something like this. Use it for, cut it up to make pockets in a journal. These things are so versatile. So many things you can do with them. I don't have a lot of stuff in the middle just because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. This is technically in the middle. Glue. I don't like glue. Okay, you guys, that's, that's what I did today. And I might add more to it or I might find other things that I can do with it. I might keep, keep working because it's, it's kind of getting me started on thinking and doing it. And... All right, friends, that's what I got for you today. I hope you're doing great, having a great day, and love you guys. Bye-bye. Take care and God bless.